thought it was weird when uh remember when you know Gabby was uh or not Gabby when Peck was rescuing uh Gabby. Why did she say Galliard and then raise her hand up and then he cut it and she said, Oh, that hurts and then jump off like as if she was not prepared for that. But maybe that <laughs> what's going on YouTube. I had a video for the Attack on Titan uh episode seventeen, um, Judgment. Me and my friend uh Slay talked about it. But it literally messed up the video you couldn't hear slay's audio so now i'm just here recording it by myself and bro what an episode so basically we start off in the beginning and i'm gonna just kind of not really in order but just talk about the episode you know what it was in there but let's just say from the or, or not even from the beginning but kind of towards the beginning of the episode it shows zeke how he kind of recovered and it's, he said this he said i don't know where i was but it seemed like i was there for years but it was it was an instant at the same time, and he said the girl just kept on putting stuff over him and covering him, and I guess that's how he got healed. My kind of theory with that, I'm kind of thinking that might be. I, I'm not even, cause okay, look from the trailer. Remember in the trailer, somebody was saying, "It's always been me ever since the day I was born." And oh yeah, just to say I've not read the manga at all, so I don't know. So I'm only going from what I've seen, and I'm just making guesses. So if I make a mistake. Please don't call me stupid. But anyway, the girl in his dream, I think, when, uh, well, from the trailer, like I was saying, when it was like, I, it always been me since, ever, ever since the day I was born. I'm kind of thinking that could be somebody taking over Aaron, like Aaron's consciousness, consciousness, you know what I'm saying? That could be a possibility. I don't know. I'm not saying that's a fact, but I'm kind of, that could be a thing. And, you know, one of my predictions, basically, um, a lot of, what was it? It looked like in this episode, Aaron was getting packed. Like, he was doing pretty good, you know. Jaw tight and he's fodder for real. You know, Aaron will easily whoop him and destroy him. I feel like one-on-one, uh, -on -one, you know, armor Titan, you know, Aaron versus, uh, why can I think of his name? Reiner, <laughs> tripping. You know, Aaron versus Reiner. I think, you know, I really think uh, Aaron can win that. But as we see in this episode, we got three of them coming at once. As he's fighting the armored and the uh, jaw. The um, car Titan came with her little gear, got sniped by uh, uh, what was it, McGath, uh, General? Like I'm like, bro, boom. He didn't even go down after the first hit though, though. Like it took three hits and he still wasn't done. I'm pretty sure. I think two or three hits and he still wasn't done. And that's when Reiner got off his spike and impaled Aaron, and basically that he was stabbing him the whole time. And then that's when it flashed. Uh, it flashed to uh, Armin. I know I'm probably, I'm just skipping around, so I'm not going to talk about every single thing. I'm just talking about little things here and there. But then it flashed to uh, Armin, and uh, I'm going to be honest, don't know how to pronounce the black guy's name. We got the black dude's name. I know I'm black. I should know his name. Whatever. But <laughs> anyway, uh, now I showed them in the cell, and uh, they going back and forth. Aaron wouldn't really wouldn't do that. This and that. That's another reason why I'm thinking that somebody else taking over his con consciousness because they're saying Aaron wouldn't do this, doing that, doing that. But it could still be Aaron, right? But um, so now nah, when they're still going back and forth, you know, in that, you know, in the jail, in the cell area, talking about, oh no, it could be Aaron. Possibly it is. No, it is Aaron. Me personally, how dangerous and everything's going, how dangerous everything's going on right now. Me personally, if I was in that situation, especially if I was armed and I got the Colossal Titan, bro, I'm going to be like, I can try to make an exit for y'all, or we can try to devise a plan to get up out of here, but that's what my plan would be, you know, um, not even, I'm not even going to say necessarily get out of here, but help everybody that we can that wants to be helped. Anybody else that wants to, like, deal with, I, I'm just trying to figure out, well, at the end of the day, you kind of got to deal with Aaron, because he's the founder Titan, and you know, whoever gets him or whoever has the founding Titan powers is going to get the dub. So, technically, you can't run away. So, you just got to deal with the situation. All I, all I would say, bro, I, I just wouldn't want to be too close to uh, Aaron. Like, you don't know his intentions. So, I probably just wouldn't be. I, would, I really wouldn't want to be too close to him. What else was in this episode? Uh, I'm probably skipping over a few things. Uh there was that one brutal scene where somebody was getting choked out with some like 
some gear, like and they had like some rope around the neck, and they was getting choked. I was like, God dang! I think it was one of the uh, Marley and people choking an LD, and I was like, Ugh. Um, when the Marley, when the Marley people was gunning all, the, gunning all the Paradise people down on that rooftop, I'm like, dude, why do y'all keep on coming over there? My friend literally, uh, Slay, he made a joke about, um, literally, cause we be playing Halo Infinite, and people like to come constantly wherever they die at. My Slay literally was like, oh, they playing Halo Infinite because they keep on coming. Why did you feel me, the Paradise people, you know, well, why did y'all keep on using y'all mo mo mobility gear to get over there and just keep on getting gunned down? Like, y'all, several of y'all was getting gunned down, and there were so many of them on the roof, so why keep on going through that pathway, that lane, whatever you want to call it? Like, that was tripping y'all. Kept on getting gunned down. I'm trying to think if there was anything else in this episode that I want to talk about. Well, I want to see what they're going to do with Falco, because he did drink that fluid, so do want to see where they're going to go with that. Uh, I also thought it was weird, right, when, uh, just a random little thought, I thought it was weird when, uh, remember when, you know, Gabby was, uh, or not Gabby, when Peck was rescuing uh, Gabby, why did she say Galliard, and then raise her hand up, and then he cut it, and he said, oh, that hurts, and then jump off, like, as if she was not prepared for that, but maybe that was just a play or a distraction she was trying to pull or something, I, I really don't know. I just thought it was weird how she the re, she reacted the way she did. She be throwing me off. I think she be doing that to like throw people off. I think I don't know. Possibly, I have no idea. All I want to say before I end this, I didn't watch the uh, next episode thing. Uh, I didn't. I also really didn't want to watch this intro, but I wound up watching the intro. And I do not think Aaron's gonna get packed because it's too early. And for what we seen that big thing in the uh, intro. Like, I don't think he's packed. It's way too early. This is the first episode, but pretty good first episode. I enjoyed it.